Blended Learning Advanced Teacher Training is a project funded by the European Commission under the Tempest 4 program. It brings together five partners working on the introduction and systematization of hybrid courses at the University of Pristina under the slogan BTEC Savvy. In this video, we will first bring you on a journey of how and why BLAT project came to be. Secondly, we will outline principal objectives and outcomes and describe the work packages through a timeline. Finally, we would like to acknowledge people and institutions that will lead us through the finish line and empower us to continue on our own. Allow us to start off with the origins of the project proposal. The academic rationale for the introduction of blended learning approach is driven by a fundamental need to reform pedagogics across the university. Among the problems found within the current practice, matters concerning critical thinking, analytical and deductive skills, free discussion and collaborative work are neglected. Student opinion is very often suppressed as though in an elementary school. This concern became very obvious in our first attempt to develop virtual classrooms and e-learning. Students were mostly reluctant to express their own views, fearing that they may be wrong. We hope that the introduction of hybrid courses will stimulate independent learning and more collaborative problem solving. Once the ED Tech enthusiastic teachers put their heads together, the idea of teacher training in blended learning emerged. It took a summer of 2011 to forge the idea into a systematic approach. In addition, our personal learning networks were swarming with people such as teachers, IT consultants, teacher trainers, and here experts who had expertise and experience with what we needed. Their contribution to shaping of the things to come was invaluable. Finally, the project was submitted, followed by months being on tenterhooks. Let's move on to the core of the project. The focus of the project is piloting hybrid courses in the selected study areas of the English language, medicine and technical science at the UPKM in compliance with the Bologna standards. The university is dispersed to several relatively distant locations. Most of the teachers are not permanent residents in the towns where the faculties are located and need to travel from the far-off locations. Since the towns and places where the faculties are located, without exception, have no capacities to accept large number of students, the classes are organized on the bi-weekly basis and the continuity of the learning and teaching is obstructed. In this regard, online component is the continuation of the teaching arm capable to accommodate larger number of students, cater for their individual needs and learning styles, plus bridge the time gap. Furthermore, the New World students, those within widening participation and increased age range participation, would find the individualized methodologies attractive and encouraging in their quest for a higher education qualification. Even though the University has adopted the Bologna principles and standards and amended and changed its statute in accordance with them in 2006, the reforms were implemented mostly at macro level while the deeper and refined reforms such as genuine implementation of ECTS, competence-oriented education, revision of the learning outcomes, introduction of student-centered learning were not implemented in a meaningful reality. We believe that blended learning methodology will bring about a deep-rooted change within. Following the redesign of syllabi catering for different learning styles and revision of the assessment instruments, the University will pilot new hybrid courses of internal medicine and ophthalmology at the Faculty of Medicine, contemporary English language and English literature at the Faculty of Philosophy, as well as environmental technology, e-technology and sustainable architecture at the Faculty of Technical Science. 
All of the contents will be provided in order to meet the EQF in the respected areas. We opted for courses that already implement e-learning in some extent and are therefore most suitable for further transformation. Both the students and the teachers involved in these courses have a firm grasp on the EDTech implementation. Next item is the general schedule. The project will last for 36 months while work packages 1 to 5 are the pivot of the project. Work package number 1 will review existing research and analysis of the blended learning approach in theory as well as take a closer look of the practice in the field. The findings of such an extensive review will be examined and considered towards a working model. Second package is about piloting first blended courses of high quality. This is considered as the most important part of the implementation since the outcome of the whole project depends on how systematically and efficiently the courses are organized, their attractiveness for both students and teachers, and the tangible effects on the learning process. The third step is an in-depth analysis of the pilot courses in attempt to determine the success rate of the blended learning approach in addition to ironing out the potential issues in the delivery. Data obtained by multiple regression analysis will help define the parameters, methods and procedures best related to the student success rate, thus providing a statistically based and verifiable tool for quality promotion. Taking into account the teacher training, experience gained from the piloting stage as well as the information gathered through the analysis, the project members will finalize the blended courses in the fourth work package. In terms of syllabi, learning outcomes, teaching materials, methodology and delivery, while the fifth work package should ensure the sustainability of the project by creating a program of pedagogic training for the teaching staff of the UPKM outside the project. Further down the line are the main dissemination objectives. Attracting primary target group, existing and potential students, teachers at UPKM relevant university and governmental bodies, as well as secondary target group, other educational institutions in the region and future employers, and boosting public awareness of the importance of going digital at the tertiary level of education. For details and particularities of the activities in the first year of the implementation, go to the link below. Now, the two people in particular were the most deserving for the successful submission of the project proposal. If you know Joel, you will know that he has always had a finger in every pie, hardly ever stopping. As a matter of fact, as we speak, he has got a dozen or so projects in the pipeline. He has brought his understanding of technology into education by initiating many interesting projects incorporating innovative uses of ICT. He helped us mold well-rounded work packages, especially work package number 5 concerning the continual professional development and expansion of the trained teaching staff. Mr. Clifford Amos's amazing eloquence paired with his vast experience in Tempest projects helped us write a well-structured and logically framed project proposal. Besides helping us dotting the E's and crossing the T's, his contribution to the work out of sustainability and quality assurance issues set us apart from many other project proposals. Finally, the project partnership boasts several leading players in online higher education and software development who will lead us, teach us, equip us with skills and occasionally hold our hands and tap us on the shoulder. Within the project, UMA will serve as a leading partner. The university has collaborative working relationships with multinational com companies and has much to offer in relation to experience in hybrid courses and programs in higher education. Linnaeus University will provide valuable expertise in quality enhancement and complement Mitrovica's interest in enhancing robust learning outcomes and product moment curriculum development. 
The scale of lineage is also important, since the experience of a large-scale organization are vital to Mitrovica in terms of management and organization. Project competence that EU as a consultancy and facilitator with its experience in the creation of virtual classrooms will contribute to all work packages and offer specific expertise in the creation of blended courses and webinars, lecture training in the implementation of educational technology, course materials and advice on piloting of new courses. The University of Bologna's service for disabled and dyslexic students will contribute in areas where creative and alternative teaching strategies would be helpful and beneficial and will also provide a leading voice for disabled students and their particular bespoke needs made possible through blended learning. To conclude by saying that the project personnel very much look forward to the strong and vibrant team spirit that the selection brings together towards a most promising future.